In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a new animated intro slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. I've just put one model which I've downloaded from the net. And then how it works is uh, when I click, you can see here the neon light start coming from the center. And then you can see here I've just added one ramp here and some uh, reflection also I've added. So I've created multiple slides uh, with uh, different color combinations or different ways of doing that one. So let me just show you the second one. The second one looks something like this. You can see here. And again, I've created one more where it looks something like this. And then you can just add any icon or text or image uh, as per your requirement. So this will be a very good intro slide for your uh, presentations. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you'd like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 to make this intro slide. But if you're using some older versions like 2013 or 16 also, this will work. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide background to any good gradient fill colors. For this, I have used two colors. Let me just show you. Right mouse click, go to format background. You can see here I have two. I have used two stops. The first stop is the dark blue, and the other one I have used the dark purple. And the type I have selected the linear. Then go to view, enable the guides. Now this slide you can make uh, you can make it in two different ways. Uh, first of all, if you are using the older version where you don't have the merge option, then I recommend you to use this one. So go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, you can see here the block arc. Just draw the arc by holding the shift key. You can see here something like this. And then there are two, you can see the orange points. I'm just going to drag this inside. All right like this okay then hold the shift key reduce the size depending on the requirement i can just reduce the size and then i'm just going to place it here all right and make sure that it is center aligned and then press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here and if you want to change the color combination you can just change it and later on we can change the color then go to align center align middle and then again, by holding the control and shift key, you can increase the size, something like this. You can see here. All right. Again, press control D. Again, align center, align middle. And again, hold the control shift key together. And then just keep on increasing the size. You can see here something like this. Now, this will take uh, a lot of time. And because you have to correct it and you have to just adjust it properly so what i recommend you instead of doing this one let me just delete this one one more easy method i will show you go to insert shapes instead of selecting the this one block arc i'm going to select the circle hollow again draw the circle hollow by holding the shift key okay and then reduce the width you can see here like this then shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any color align center align middle and then i'm just going to duplicate as many as i want depending on the requirement so let me just reduce the uh, just zoom out this one press ctrl d to duplicate again align center align middle again hold the ctrl and shift key together increase the size you can see here and then I can just reduce the width a little bit for this also I'm just going to reduce it so likewise I'm going to add many hollow circles control again align center align middle again hold the shift key and keep on increasing just give a little bit gap okay again align center align middle again you can see here I'm just going to increase it so I'm just going to reduce the size a little bit, the width. Okay, and then press Ctrl D, align center, align middle. Again, Ctrl Shift, increase the size. You can see here, let me just reduce the width. Ctrl D again, 
so keep on doing this one till the slide is completely you know covered with the circles Control D again align center align middle again hold the control shift key increase the size you can see here you can give more gaps here not a problem and this also if you want you can increase a little bit all right so depending on the requirement you can just adjust the height and the width again press ctrl d let me just zoom out further and this is my last circle all right so again I'm just going to reduce it something like this so you can see here I've created one two three four five six seven eight circles now I'm going to cut them uh, into a different shape so let me just show you how I will do it so go to insert shapes from the basic shapes I'm going to select the trapezoid draw the trapezoid you can see here let me just zoom out this further and I'm going to increase the size so that it will cover okay something like this and then you can see the small orange point just drag this inside so that it should fit in the, the smaller circle there all right and make sure that it is aligned properly aligned in the center okay so again if you want increase the size you can just you can see here something like this also you can do it and then I can just reduce it again now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all by pressing ctrl a you can see here I have pressed ctrl a and then go to shape format merge shapes and then just say fragment so you end up getting a shape something like this then select each one the bottom part only just delete that one select and delete you can see here I'm just deleting one by one Just delete one by one it is a time-consuming job but once it is done it looks very nice so you can see here I'm just selecting and press the delete button and this also now what happens here is you can see here this is the one which I want to delete the second one again one gap delete this delete you can see here all right so what happens here is you end up getting a shape something like this you can see here it looks something like this so let me just uh, hide the guides you can see here again zoom out a little bit and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add few more shapes here so go to insert shapes i'm going to select the you can see here the right triangle draw the right triangle you can see here maybe you can give some different color combination later on we can change it shape outline make it no outline and then you can see here i can just do a flip horizontal bring this here and then right mouse click edit points and then i'm just going to drag this here all right and this one let it be this side all right so and make sure it is properly done and then i'm going to select the other way again rotate it and then just put it here all right and just make sure that it is properly aligned and then you can just give any good color combination of your choice you can see here i can give blue or whichever color which you feel better and then if you want you can just add one more a ramp here for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select the trapezoid draw the trapezoid you can see here and then just reduce the size so that you can see here it looks something like this then shape outline make it no outline and you can give some 3d effect to this go to the 3d for rotation and I can just choose maybe this one which is perspective you can see here again I can increase the size you can see here I can just increase it reduce the size a little bit all right 
and go to the 3d format and i can increase the depth here all right you can see here the depth has been created and then you can just go and create this the lighting maybe i can just choose some dark color here or whichever color you know which is more prominent i can just choose maybe this is not good maybe this is good with some this color combination or if you want you can just give some uh, gradient fill also for this so the next step i'm going to give uh, some gradient fill for this okay just select the gradient fill all right and then here i'm just going to choose two color combination one is lighter color and the other one i can just make it a purple color you can see here all right and then you can just make sure that here select all the circles by holding the shift key and then make sure that the shape outline is no outline and then i'm just going to select this and you can go to the effects you can see here the soft adjust you can just increase the soft adjust a little bit and if you want you can give some glow effect also for this again you can choose some colors which is you know looks good so something like this you can see here and then double click the format painter and then i'm just going to copy it you know you can see here like this and for this i just need to use only a purple color here you can see here and double click this and so you can see here it looks something like this and once this is done you can add a simple animations to it so let me just go to the animations enable the animation pane first of all i'm going to select both of this okay you can see here and then i'm just going to say wipe so okay it's coming like this okay if i play it comes something like this you can see here and then i'm going to select this and i'm going to give a appear function uh, animation and that should happen after okay previous you can see here and then using this one what i'm going to do is double click the animation painter i'm going to click the animation to each you can see here the semicircles or the arc whatever you call it okay now what you need to do is you need to just give because if i play what happens here it, it comes all at once so this has to be some gap so here maybe i can give a gap of like this is say two this would be say would be four you can see here six eight you know some just delay i'm doing ten 12 and 14 for example let me just show you now when i click this will come and you can see here let me just play again see here and then you can give some sh more shadow effects also for this so let me just select all this one by one and i'm going to give some reflection effect to this one so let me just close this right mouse click go to format shapes again here you can go to the reflection presets you can just use any reflection type you can see here maybe i'm going to select this all right so it a reflection got created you can see here so once all this is done maybe you can animate this also and then any text or any image or any icon you can just simply animated for example i can just simply select the icons and any icon you can just choose for example i'm just going to choose the icon which is say a, a trophy you can see here you can put it here shape fill maybe you can select white all right and then you can uh, give a little animation effect for this what you can do is go to the animations enable the animation pane and first of all it should appear or it should say zoom in i can just say maybe a zoom in or basic zoom you can see here that should happen and that should happen after previous and again i'm going to select this 
add animation and I'm going to make it a line okay so it comes something like this straight and that should happen with previous so now what happens here is if I click it comes something like this you can see here and you can add as many animations you want maybe you can add one more animation where you're going to increase the size also okay so you can see here the size getting increased and this should happen with previous so if I play it comes something like this See here the size is getting increased so uh, different different uh, uh, text or models or whatever you can just uh, try it on this particular intro slide